Today I'm going to pick up some groceries at Walmart. Um, I ordered for the first time. I'm trying their um, pickup. So you just go on their website. It's like Walmart groceries and you um, they also have an app and you just um, scroll through there. There's no one else beep beeping you with their cart and you just go through find what you want put it in your cart check out and then um, you pick a time to go and pick the these groceries up so I don't know how it's gonna go cuz you know like the whole Walmart thing where there's two lines open and like a jillion people inside the store um, not sure how the whole pickup is going to work out like um, I know that it's hard to get a pickup time. Like I had one pickup time in the morning that was available and I bought, I ordered yesterday. So the pickup time for the only pickup time that was available for me today was between 10 and 11. And then the others were like five to six, six to seven, seven to 8 PM. And um, I'm not out at that time of the day. Uh, after I pick up the kids from school, usually we're recluses and I won't go back out so um, unless we're eating out pizza or something uh, but most of the time I won't go back out so um, morning time that was the only time that was available so we'll see how it goes I'll let you know and also I don't know what the quality of the things will be like um, produce items uh, what they'll look like because you know you can just pick anything and give it to someone else for what would you care but anyway I'm gonna hope that it's good quality um, stuff because I like their prices I just don't like shopping in their store because there's always too many people in there for me and to be honest let's just be honest um, if there are four people in a store that is four people too many so it's not like it's a Walmart thing it's a me thing um, so anyway, I'll let you know how that goes and um, that's pretty much it for today because uh, the kids are sick and um, home from school. <sighs> that's fine. But um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to try and do one every day um, in February, kind of get myself used to being on camera more. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know. I don't like being on camera without makeup. And I don't want you to see my mess in my house. But I think it'll be good for me. Anyway, so I'll check in uh, in a little bit. Bye. Okay, guys, we're headed to Walmart right now. I just checked in on the app. And... Um, I was wondering how they would know when you got there, and it actually um, tracks your location. Uh, so if you're not cool with that, you can say no, but um, then I don't know how they tell when you're close or what. I don't know. Um, we're trying it out. But anyway, we're going to see how it goes. Um, so anyway, Haley, my oldest, she's got a fever and like this hacking horrible sounding cough which kind of um, is what's going on around here for us but there are worse things around so if that's it we'll take it uh, so anyway I will resume once we get a little bit closer to Walmart but um, for right now just going to be driving, listening to my 80s music, and we'll we'll see you when we get there. Okay, so I'm just about to pull in to the Walmart parking lot, and I'm a little bit nervous. I don't, I, I mean like it's pretty simple, right? You just pull in, park, and they're supposed to bring you your groceries, but I'm super um, socially awkward. I don't like doing things I've never done before, which means my life is super exciting. Um, so, anyway, I'm 
I'm a little nervous I'm waiting for my light to turn what's cool though is they put it on the side of the building where you don't have to do a lot of um, letting people walk across the street because you know how that goes at Walmart you may never get to where you're going in the parking lot so that's cool they put it right on the side here so we'll see how it goes I'm going right in here I'm going into the pickup and I'm gonna park in number three Ugh. and we'll see um, how long it takes and um, what the process is I I have no clue oh So we'll see, apparently, like, oh, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Hill. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, so that was easy. I'm gonna not record right now, and then I'll, I'll pick back up in just a minute. Okay, so literally that took three minutes or something, maybe less than that. They were so nice. Oh my gosh. Like, will I ever go to another place to shop again? I'm not really sure. I know that now I have to go one way, so this might be a little difficult. But, this is so cool. Um, yeah, now I have to kind of drive through the parking lot because of the way that this parking lot's funneled. But, you know what? So what? Somebody else did my grocery shopping for me and I literally just picked it up. Like, no problem whatsoever. I'm going this way. Um, oh my gosh. The lady, oh my gosh, that lady was so nice. Um, super friendly. I even got like a little welcome bag. I don't know what's in it. I'll show you when I get home. And, um, and everything. They were super friendly. Wow. Although there is something on there where it's like you can choose to allow substitutions for like brands or like anything that you, um, that they may not have. I don't want any substitutions. Um, they didn't have to substitute anything today, which was great. Um, but um, I just wonder, um, I'm gonna have to pay more attention um, to when, uh, when I'm on the app ordering, where it is that I can click that I don't want any substitutions because, um, for example, um, well, I'm incredibly picky about food and food brands. Um, for example, I'm like really weird about hot dogs. And I know a lot of people are really weird about hot dogs. And um, for some reason in my mind, I've decided that Hebrew National is the only brand of hot dog that I will eat. Um, and so if I go to a store and they don't have that, I just don't get hot dogs, right? So um, on the app somewhere, apparently there's like a checkbox that you can mark that you don't want substitutions. So I'm gonna have to do that because that's just one of my many weird quirky things about um, food. So anyway, hot dog rant over. So that was like seriously the easiest shopping experience I have ever had. Just like, mind blown. Love it. You should try it. Everybody should try it. Just, just great. And so friendly. Gosh, and they just brought it right out. Anyway, when I get home, I'll check back in. Okay, I'm back. Uh, 
I'm back home. And um, here's the stuff I got. I just got like a few things. They have a $30 minimum. And I just wanted to see if I liked the service. You know, like, what is it? Um, obviously, you know that I love it. My pickup time was between 10 and 11. I left here at 10.15, I got there at 10.30. It's now 10.50, like, literally, that was the fastest, easiest um, grocery store experience of all time. Um, also, it's really cool, I got this little bag, a little gift it says here, I wanna show you. It says, um, here's a free gift for trying us out. And I thought that was really cool if the camera would please focus. So let's see what's inside of here. Ooh, ooh is this dry shampoo? <gasps> Yay! This is something that I may try. Definitely. What else is in here? Ooh, that looks good. What's that? World crisps. In case you wanted to know what the world tasted like. What else? Ooh, what else is in here? Oh, cool! They got something for men in here. Men care. What is that? Extra fresh instant lather. Oh, it's foaming body wash for men. Camera. Focus, camera. Okay. And then also in here, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use this camera for this cup feeling filming because it's not cooperating. Um, then they gave me um, this little thing for a survey, looks like, and just coupons and things like that in here. But um, ooh, this orange smells like an orange. I don't know what it is, like a car freshener? Hmm, it smells good though. Oh, see, keeping it real today. Look at the mess. Oh, no. What up? Okay, anyway, so that was my Walmart experience. It was fabulous. 